You might be able to dress to impress, but can you bring some of the cringiest fashion trends back in style? If you don't know how to style 80s and 90s clothes, stick around to learn because you'll probably need to know how to rock puffy sleeves by the end of 2018. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to The Taco for more videos like this one. Do you want to be a DIY expert? Check out our friends at Crafty Hackers. They have the best hacks, crafts, and everything DIY. Watch their videos for the best household tricks, DIY decor, and fun recipes. If you love making crafts with your friends or just trying new things, they have everything you're looking for. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome hacks and crafts. And now, let's check out 10 fashion trends that went from cringe to cool. Wedges. Yep, you heard that right. Platforms and wedges are a 90s hit, but became a cringe fashion trend after. But not anymore. People have always wanted to be taller than they actually are, and heels aren't always comfortable. So it only makes sense to bring back the one and only wedges. Wedges date back to 220 BC, but of course they changed a lot until they became a massive trend in the 90s. Everybody was wearing wedges, and they became the ultimate summer clothing. Jennifer Aniston, Gwen Stefani, and even Beyonce, they all had their own spin on the wedge fashion. The trend died down with the arrival of fashion heels, but heels haters rejoice because wedges are coming back. We're not sure we can welcome back wedges in their true 90s style, which is why these modern shoes have been slightly transformed to rival with the rest of the fashion. The new wedges are slightly more sophisticated and much more minimalistic than the trend you might remember, but we're welcoming this comeback that is slowly starting to creep back in the fashion world. The question is, are these here to stay? What do you think about wedges? Yay or nay? Choker necklaces. If you spend enough time in the fashion world, we're pretty sure you noticed this comeback trend over the past few years. The choker necklaces were the 90s trend that mainly belonged to a specific group of school kids, such as the goths or those that referred to themselves as emo. But did you know that the actual history of the choker necklaces dates back to hundreds of years? Although they didn't always have a good reputation, these necklaces were often worn during the French Revolution and later as a fashion statement by the wealthy. The 90s had the regular chokers along with what was called the plastic tattoo choker, which came with little patterns and it definitely wasn't as comfortable as you might think. But what's with this choker comeback? The fashion trend was first noticed on influencers like Kim Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, and Gigi Hadid. Fashionistas even state that you can't call it a 90s trend anymore as we have adapted it to the modern times and made it the ultimate fashion accessory. And it's not made just for a specific group of people either, like it was in the 90s. Pretty much anyone can wear the choker necklace and make it a statement. Fanny Packs Yep, you better believe it. Fanny Packs got another shot at taking over the fashion world, whether you like it or not. The history of Fanny Packs, aka bum bags, dates back to the 50s and 60s, although there seems to be a lot of misinformation on who actually invented them. At first, Fanny Packs were popular with European skiers who used them instead of putting on backpacks while going down the slope. They were ideal for storing sandwiches and other things you might need after a long day of skiing. And then came the 80s and Fanny Packs officially became one of the most popular fashion accessories ever. They were so common, they were even given out as freebies at random events. Dwayne The Rock Johnson advertised the fanny pack as the ultimate chick magnet, but then it became too popular and the interest shifted elsewhere. Until now, fashion runways have seen the return of fanny packs scheduled for spring 2018. And they're not your regular old school fanny packs, these have a brand new style and a new price tag. Even Kendall Jenner has sported some pretty amazing looking fanny packs in the past few months. We're telling you, the comeback is coming and it'll be awesome. Crop Tops Crop tops have made several comebacks over the years, but did you know they actually started in the 90s? This fashion trend had a mixed response with the public the first time it appeared, and it still does now, even though times have changed. We'll explain what we mean in just a little bit, but first, let's talk about the history of the crop top. It all started in Bollywood, and the crop top was introduced by some belly dancers in 1893. It took a while before the crop top took off in colder climates, but the West definitely had a lot of fun with this new fashion trend. It really took off in the 40s, but not everyone was on board because of its issue with being too revealing. For the past few years, the crop top became a normal fashion item. And while some women in the 40s got fined for their revealing clothing, women today are ready to clap back at anyone who wants to body shame people for wearing whatever they want. Crop tops will forever be a controversial fashion item and people will always have a lot to say about it. But that shouldn't stop you from totally rocking it because it clearly won't go out of style. Jelly Sandals 
The jelly sandals are one of the most interesting fashion trends out there, but eyebrows were definitely raised when they were first in style. They're primarily molded with PVC and other additives that force the shape to take place, so there's definitely not any big science behind it. It's surprising that such simple plastic shoes were such a hit in the US and everywhere else around the world, but they were easy to put on, they were colorful, and they were comfortable. All fashion boxes ticked. The trend slowed down after it became too popular, but it looks like 2017 brought them back, and it was all thanks to a single celebrity. Remember when Rihanna had a deal with Puma? Her footwear designs with Puma included jelly shoes, and to everyone's surprise, they looked really good and people actually loved them. You can also find several other designers putting their own spin on this fashion classic. We haven't heard much about them since, but hey, Rihanna definitely made this cringe trend cool again. The question is, are Rihanna's designs worth putting on the jelly shoes again and going through the emotional stages of breaking them in, we're not sure we can handle the jelly sandal blisters ever again. Music-themed clothing Having musicians on your shirt used to not be cool at all or belong to a specific group of people, mainly rockers. It used to be extremely hard to get a shirt of your favorite band, and if you did, people thought it was weird. But nowadays, it seems like everyone's wearing a shirt of their favorite band, and it's totally cool. Even celebrities are now sporting their favorite bands. We bet all your favorite celebrities wore a music-themed shirt at least once. And no one's even raising an eyebrow. Why should they? Music-themed shirts are the best fashion trend ever. One of the reasons why is because this time type of clothing became so easily accessible, you no longer have to attend a concert to get merch-type shirts. Even teenagers admitted that music-themed clothing is a huge part of their style as it easily shows your personality. And the good thing is, you can pretty much wear any type of shirt you want, from rock bands and pop bands to using memes on a shirt or wearing a shirt with your favorite lyrics, the options are endless. And they're all amazingly awesome. We're so happy this trend went from cringe to cool. Scrunchies they were a hit in the 80s and 90s, then slowly disappeared for a bit, but they seem to always be a talk of the fashion world. They came back a couple of times during the past few years, but wait until you hear their brand new name. Everyone was wearing scrunchies, from models and dancers to Madonna to Paula Abdul. They took over pop culture as well as the fashion culture. These hairbands are colorful and they make a statement on its own, which is why people who didn't want to put focus on their hair didn't like them. Trust us, it's hard to find that perfect scrunchie style, but because they make such a statement, this fashion accessory never really goes out of style. Well, they're officially back now and they got rebranded as Hair Clouds. Nope, we're not kidding. They're a hit on the runway and fashion designers just can't wait to experiment with more fabrics and styles. Got a ponytail and a lot of style? Put it in a hair cloud and embrace the 90s it girl within you. What do you think? Yay or nay for hair clouds? Let us know in the comments. The Flannel Shirt we're all up for comfortable clothing and flannel shirts are definitely one of them. The 90s trend once belonged to a certain fashion group, but not anymore. The flannel shirt has a very interesting history. It was first worn by farmers to protect themselves from the elements. Flannel clothes were specifically made for the working class and their quality set a standard of excellence. But they didn't have the same reputation with everyone else. In the 90s, flannel shirts were introduced to the grunge fashion. But it seems that these fabric shirts are now part of a widespread fashion and it doesn't matter which fashion group you belong to. They're often associated with hipsters, but pretty much everyone is rocking the flannel shirts. So why are they so good? Well, they're warm because they're made of special fabric. They're also extremely colorful, which means they'll go well with just about any dark clothing. And the most important part is they're extremely easy to wear. There are millions of ways to style this simple item of clothing, and we truly think it'll never go out of style. Seriously, even Beyonce owns a flannel shirt. It's time to take it out of your closet because flannel shirts are definitely cool. Denim on denim. What kind of overalls does Super Mario wear? Denim, denim, denim. Like this video if you got this joke. Anyways, it seems that a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with denim. Denim jeans will probably never go out of style, but there are definitely plenty of fashion rules you have to follow if you do wear them. And one of them is to never ever put denim on denim. Seriously, ever. Denim jeans were invented more than 100 years ago in Germany. They became an instant hit. But have you ever heard of the rule that you shouldn't pair denim with denim? It's something 
something people in the 80s and 90s seemed to do without an issue, but if you did that in the modern times, you'd get a lot of weird looks. And you'd probably break more than a few fashion rules. Well, not anymore. According to fashion Instagrammers and celebrities, you just need to know how to style denim on denim properly to pull it off. And there are definitely ways you can bring this cringy trend back and make it cooler than ever. We're not sure we're excited by denim on denim, but hey, we're ready for this challenge. Puffy Sleeves now this is a real cringe alert we're not sure we're ready for. This 80s trend is making a comeback and not everyone seems to be happy about it. We totally get it, don't worry. Puffy sleeves were a total 80s fashion. In the world of windbreakers, it's only fitting that women also wear comfortable clothes that aren't too tight on their bodies. Even Princess Diana had a wedding dress with puffy sleeves. But looking back on this fashion trend, we just don't understand how that would look comfortable at all. But get ready because 2018 will bring another fashion challenge we'll just have to embrace. The return of the puffy sleeves. Seriously, we're not kidding. When Kendall Jenner stepped out for the Vanity Fair Oscars after party, no one expected her to totally rock this 80s fashion look. But she did, and she looked awesome, and she wasn't the only one. We all know celebrities are trendsetters, but are they influential enough to bring back one of the most questionable trends ever? We'll have to wait and see. Until then, tie your hair up with a hair cloud, put on your jelly slippers, and embrace at least some of these cringy trends that are becoming cool whether we like it or not. And that's it for our video. Don't forget to subscribe to The Taco for more videos like this one. See you next time!